Hi, I'm Lu Yuanfang, Chief AI and the Data Officer at Prescriptive Health. We are a Seattle-based healthcare startup. This is session 2311, and my topic today is disrupting the prescription drug market with AI and data. Here's my agenda. As we all know, the US prescription drug system is very broken. I'll briefly explain why. So I will talk about pharmacy benefit managers or PBMs, what spread is, and the lack of transparency, and why all these are bad for pharmacies and the consumers. So how to fix the broken system? The way we're doing it at the prescriptive is to use AI and the data to bring transparency, affordability, and the better care to people. We have built blockchain-based Rx solutions and a data plus AI pharma healthcare platform with the data bricks to help pharmacies provide better care to patients. I'll then dive into a specific case study of one of our services that we have been deploying in the pharmacies across US, MyRx AI pricing which helps pharmacies optimize drug prices and better serve their communities. Some numbers on the prescription drug market. In 2020, the US prescription drug spending was 348 billion, which is only 8% of the total healthcare spending. Yet, when we look at the patient out-of-pocket cost, prescription drugs account for 13.3%, while hospital care is only 2.6%. Well, it's out of proportion, isn't it? The reason is that, as we all know, prescription drug prices in US is very high. In fact, they're 256% higher than all other OECD countries. As a result, you can see on the right-hand side chart from KFF, many people in the US have difficulty to afford their prescription drugs. Actually, 26%. So more than one in four Americans have difficulty to afford their drugs. All age groups have difficulties but what is uh, surprising to me is that the age group that suffer the most are 30 to 49 years old. So we're talking about people in the prime of their careers and likely in reasonable health condition. What is even worse is that 33%, one in three of people who have serious health condition cannot afford their medications. Now, let's look at the prescription affordability and the patient adherence. What happens is that three in 10 Americans say they haven't taken their medications as prescribed by their doctors because they couldn't afford it. These are terrible numbers. It means these people's lives are being negatively impacted their families are being impacted and the whole US healthcare system is being impacted because of people do not treat their illness properly and timely. Something has to be done to fix this broken system. So let me explain some key reasons for this broken system in which drugs are unaffordable and the pharmacies are struggling to stay in business. So they can't continue to provide much needed quality care to their patients in their local communities. Where does the money go? That is a good question. Patients suffer, pharmacies also suffer. A major issue is pharmacy benefit managers or PBMs who are the middleman 
and are the ones who set the sale price of the drugs. However, they also set the reimbursement amount to the pharmacies, which is much lower than the sales price. So they can pocket away the difference, which is called the spread. As you can see the chart illustrating that. So your expensive drug, the price you pay, only a portion of it goes back to the pharmacy, while the spread goes to the middleman, the PBM. What about those popular discount cards? They actually share a portion of that spread by working with the PBMs to take advantage of the broken system. The net result is that pharmacies have very thin margin to the point that in some cases, they even end up selling at a loss. Since the reimbursement amount that they receive may be below the acquisition cost of that drug. How can this happen? This whole system is becoming more and more convoluted and it is built on a complete lack of transparency since the amount of the spread is actually a protected secret. This whole system is completely arbitrary with the PBMs having the upper hands because of the lack of transparency and the regulatory oversight that allows this game to go on. The pharmacies, especially the independent pharmacies as part of the first line providers are struggling to stay in business. At the meantime, their patients also suffer from paying high prices. I actually visited many independent pharmacies in the Northwest, especially in the rural remote areas, seeing how much their local communities depend on the care these pharmacies provide, not only by filling, filling prescriptions, but also by providing vaccinations, consultations, and other clinical services. These pharmacies are an integral part of how health care is provided to these communities, especially in remote and underserved areas. On the slide, the right-hand side, you can see I have a quote from an NCPA CEO, Doug Hoy, talking about how the spread, PBM spread, is hurting the pharmacies and also hurting the taxpayers, hurting the patients. This has to change. So at Prescriptive, we are on the mission to change all of this. And the way we're doing it is by using AI and data. Our goals are first, bring transparency into the drug market. Since the lack of transparency is truly the root cause of all the problems of this broken system. Second, being able to deliver better services and the benefits directly to the consumers and the first line providers, the pharmacies and the doctors and the bypassing all these middlemen whose primary goal is to make billions of dollars at the expense of the community pharmacies, not to provide affordable care to the people. And third, being able to scale this to serve all communities in the US. How do we do this? There are three key components. First, we use AI because AI has the power to see through the lack of transparency. Second, we use blockchain, Web 3.0, because blockchain has the power to decentralize control of the healthcare system from the current system in which control is in the hands of a few middlemen like PBMs and the large insurers to better system in which control is in the hands of patients and providers. Third, we're building a scalable 
data plus AI pharma healthcare platform as a foundation of all of these services. What are the challenges that need to be overcome when using AI and the data to reach our goals and how to solve them? The first challenge is like many other verticals, companies, there are many legacy and ad hoc data solutions out there, which do not scale and need to be somehow unified, as we all know. Second, lack of real-time capabilities in most existing data solutions. Third, without well-designed and automated data and AI pipelines, it is impossible to scale and achieve high performance. What are our strategies to overcome these hurdles? One, we have invested and continue to invest in a single state-of-art data plus AI platform as a part of the infrastructure building and the foundation for all our AI-driven solutions. Two, we have spent time to arrive at a thoughtful, good design, which will pay off for future scaling, performance, and the cost efficiencies. We have built AI and the data platforms in other verticals. And from experience, it is crucial to have forward-looking vision and spend the time to architect the platform to support the desired solutions in the modular fashion, which can bring tremendous development efficiency, reuse, high performance, and cost savings. A platform is the way to enable very efficient deployment of a wide range of portfolio of services in a very short time with a relatively small development team. Three, we set the path for real-time production support for both artificial intelligence solutions and the business intelligence reporting to meet the needs of different audiences from providers to consumers to all internal organizations within our company. It all comes down to execution. We build the data and AI platform with the Databricks Lake House, which has given us a very good framework to start with. As we're building up the scalable and the performing platform, we continue to deploy quickly and incrementally our AI and the BI solutions, never waiting till the platform is perfect. In this way, we're productive and we're building and evolving the platform to best meet our business and the customer's needs with the feedback directly from the field. We now have all the elements to truly unleash the power of AI by rapidly developing and deploying more and more sophisticated models capable of handling more and more signals. Here is the architecture of our pharma, healthcare, AI, and the data platform, which we have built and continue to build on Databricks. We call it Alexander in honor of Alexander Fleming, who discovered the penicillin, the world's first known effective antibiotic substance. On the left-hand side are some sample input data sources. In general, they are a mix of batch and the streaming data. We have some external sources such as NADAC, which is the national average of the acquisition price of drugs paid by pharmacies. Medispan, which contains regulated prices for drugs and the NCPDP. We also get a lot of geodata and the run our models in a personalized way per pharmacy and the individual services. We then have continuous data and the queries from myarx.io users, that is the patients using our services. 
This includes queries and requests on what help they need. And obviously, these requests come with corresponding geodata, since most of our services are mobile and location-based. And the third category of data is the data from pharmacies in our networks. We have about 60,000 pharmacies in our networks. These may be RX claims that we need to process or other clinical services, such as appointment booking for vaccination and the scheduling, which we support. Now, if we look at the platform as a layer to cake, at the bottom, we have the infrastructure layer. We are on Azure Cloud. We use Kubernetes for container orchestration. We use Elasticsearch, Kafka for event handling, and so on. This layer gives us support for all our infra functions from blockchain to API management, CICD, telemetry, and the real-time monitoring, and of course, AI DevOps. We then have the data platform built on Delta Lake. This is where we build our data quality from bronze to silver to gold. The AI data preparation pipeline plugs directly to bronze, and that is where we do our data cleaning, labeling, and some feature engineering as well. Our AI pipeline, both offline model development and training and online inferencing platform are plugged to gold and silver. This gives us very efficient environment for model development and the continuous deployment of the models into production. Of course, we then have our AI libraries behind the scene. And then the core of the whole thing, the AI RX brain. So the AI engines and the RX healthcare knowledge graph. The AI engines include pricing, recommendation, prediction, optimization, classification, medical NLP, embedding, conversational AI, and so on. We use this platform to support a portfolio of AI RX services. The first one, AI optimized pricing, we are deploying in pharmacies across US and I will dive into it in a couple of slides. And the other AI services are under development and coming soon. I will also talk about it. A little more on how we were able to build this in a short time, working with the Databricks. Databricks give us an opportunity to jumpstart all this. And the Databricks Lake House gave us a good framework that we can leverage to rapidly streamline all the data and AI pipelining and the production support. We use the Databricks professional services initially to jumpstart the architecture design and the gain insight of the Databricks platform capabilities. Together with the Databricks, we implemented the initial AI use case on optimized drug pricing. We leveraged the Databricks Lake House to rapidly implement data ingestion from our sources, both batch and the streaming, and the many of the ETL that we need. We are now implementing the model development and the deployment offline and online pipeline and we're building the healthcare knowledge graph. We also have a lot of real-time BI reporting and dashboards in production running on the same platform and evolving rapidly as the service evolve. As I mentioned, our approach is continuous learning, building, and the development of our AI solutions 
together with the platform on Databricks Lakehouse. I'm now going to dive into the case study of the first AI RX service, which we have been deploying in pharmacies across the country. AI optimized the prescription drug pricing, product name MyRx AI pricing. In this product, we use AI to fix the issue of broken prescription system that I described earlier and bring the benefits directly to the pharmacies and the consumers in terms of price transparency and the best competitive prices. What we really do here is to use AI innovation to power a new game-changing business model, which eliminates the spread and other opaque PBM practices and enables pharmacies to be competitive by providing the best prices to their communities while maintaining profitability. Essentially, with the MyRx AI pricing, pharmacies can get away from the stronghold of the PBMs and offer competitive prices so they can stay in business and continue the essential role that they have in providing quality care to their communities. We use AI to eliminate spread and optimize price for each drug personalized per pharmacy. Our AI models, which as I mentioned, are built on Databricks platform, takes into account all factors that affect competitive pricing, such as competition, geo, demographic, therapeutic, profitability, popularity, and the seasonality to provide an accurate estimate of willingness to pay and the price demand elasticity per drug, per pharmacy. Our business model eliminates spread and other opaque tactics, such as clawback charges, that PBMs use to take advantage of the pharmacies. We provide full price transparency to both pharmacies and the patients. This is an example of a competitive analysis that is performed and used as an input by the models. These are prices of four independent pharmacies in the US Northwest and how they compare with the three nationwide pharmacy chains in the same location. This is an example for illustration purpose only how AI is applied in competitive pricing. MyRx AI pricing picks the best competitive price for each drug at the particular pharmacy. Specifically, the first pharmacy we went live with MyRx AI pricing was Purdy Costless Pharmacy in Gig Harbor, Washington. We partnered with them to introduce and fine tune this groundbreaking business model of MyRx AI pricing to enable sustainable profitability growth. The results have been remarkable. After just six weeks of MyRx AI pricing gone live, Purdy Costless Pharmacies saw a profitability increase of 21%. And we are targeting even higher profitability growth in the next 12 to 18 months while maintaining competitiveness. This is the way we help pharmacies to stay competitive and profitable so they can stay in business and continue to serve their local community with a quality of care and improve personalized services. The results of using MyRx AI pricing have been exceptional, but of course, the only data point that really matters to us is delighting our customer. 
Here's what Jeff Harrell had to say about my RX AI pricing. Jeff is the CEO of Peninsula Pharmacies, where he is co-owner of Purdy Cosless Pharmacy and the 25 other pharmacies. He is on the board of the directors of National Community Pharmacies Association, NCPA, and a recognized leader and a technology advocate in the pharmacy industry. It has been very rewarding to have had the opportunity to partner with Jeff and other pharmacy leaders and being able to bring this groundbreaking AI powered business solution to the industry. My RX AI pricing really changes things and it is significant step in fixing the broken US prescription drug system that I was talking about. We have now gone live with Myrx AI pricing in other pharmacies and are now going live at scale in independent pharmacies coast to coast. MyRx pricing is the first AI service that went live in pharmacies, but we are working on an entire portfolio of AI driven pharma and healthcare services all supported by our AI and the data platform built on Databricks, which will provide better personalized care to patients. In addition to AI optimizer pricing, AI RX recommender, medication adherence, AI real-time benefit check are all critical personalized tools which bring knowledge control, and the choice to patients. AI prior authorization, benefit plan optimization, AI identification verification, and AI risk scoring are all services that will help patients, pharmacies, and insurers to optimize their benefits and get the access to the care they need. And we're also building several specialized AI chatbots to improve the engagement of patients and the pharmacies toward better personalized services. To conclude, we are on a mission to fix the broken prescription system and bring affordable drugs and better care to communities across the country. AI and the data are really the enablers to achieve unparalleled transparency and provide the foundations of better prescription drug system. Delta Lake allow us to support AI and the BI on the same platform with real-time applications. Our AI pricing solutions are built and deployed on Databricks platform with much more to come. Hey, please scan the QR code on the right-hand side Join us on this journey of rewriting the script, giving back patients the transparency, choice, and the control. Stay in touch. If you have questions or would like to learn more about prescriptive, here are our links on social media. Thank you very much. If you are interested to use our services or join our team, please reach out to us.